Hang all the mistletoe I'm gonna get to know You better Babes, what's up? So y'all know that Wait, let me turn this um, heat down Y'all know that I am all into personal development and motivational presentations. Well, your girl is going to see E.T. today. E.T., the hip-hop preacher, Eric Thomas. I'm sure y'all know him. And I'm so excited. Let me give y'all a look at my outfit real quick before I, before I go. I decided I was going to wear some booties, but I actually ended up wearing my curly hair. And this shirt, it says, killing it. I'm wearing my little Adidas. I will insert a picture for you guys to see a better picture of it. Because I can't even, like, I don't have nobody to record me right now to even show y'all. But in any event, I'm running late. So I need to hurry up and get here. They already said on the tickets and stuff, like, there's no recording, no cameras, like, nothing. Because I guess they don't want nobody stealing his act. But, um, hold on. But anyway, when I get there, um, I'm going to try to get some footage of the outside of the building or whatever. Then I guess I'll just come back to you guys when it's over and tell y'all how everything went. So, let's go. <laughs> My baby kept saying, Mommy, you look so perfect. You look so perfect. I said, Oh, thank you, son. My boys is really like my number one fan. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to tell y'all. For some reason, my editing software has been acting a little cuckoo. And I think it's time for your girl to upgrade. So I'm looking and doing my research now. Trying to find some new editing software and find, um, I think I'm going to just get me a new laptop too. So if y'all see like my videos sometime doing that, like it's like, like it's glitching or something. It's not me. It's the editing software and I'm just really trying to be consistent with my videos, but it's really pissing me off at the same time. But I'm definitely going to constantly keep improving on my channel and bringing fresh content and being consistent with you guys. I just love y'all so much. I get so much love. You know what I'm saying? Like the love is so real, you know, and the hate is real too. Don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, I don't really focus on the negativity and the hate that comes with YouTube because I just really have so many genuine subby, so many, so many angels that's just so loyal to me. I, and I've even developed real relationships and friendships and I have like some little sisterhood going on and it's just amazing to me that I have all of these women that's just like super bosses super motivating super positive like always on the go and making it happen no matter what you know and it just feels good to have strong people in my circle I guess you could say because I've always had like a bunch of people that just didn't want to grow I don't want to say wasn't on my level but just didn't want to grow and just wanted to stay in the same old same old stagnant situations and I'm just really not about that like I'm the type of person where every year every day I'm like always constantly evolving and taking a look at myself and the things that I want to change about myself and just just making those tweaks because people got it all messed up you know what i'm saying you thinking that another female is your competition when in all actual reality that chick ain't your competition she not even worried about you you feel me like your competition should be yourself every day that you wake up and your feet hit the ground you should be constantly trying to be a better version of yourself and i think that's where the confusion come in at with women 
you know, and not supporting one another. And that's because it's always a competition thing, you know. I don't believe in competition, you feel me? Like, I'm no hater, and I'm all about women empowerment. Anything that I got, you know, I feel as though I want all my friends and family and even strangers that have the same, you know. I don't think you should envy someone else when we all got the same 24 hours, you know what I'm saying? So, basically... If any of y'all ever need anything from me, and if there's ever any way that I can help, hold on, y'all. Let me check my GPS. I'm steady talking. Okay. And if there's any way I can ever help y'all, y'all know I'm just one click away. You know what I'm saying? One click away because I don't, like I said, I don't believe in that competition thing. What I believe is you find your own lane. This GPS. And then once you find that lane, you stay in that lane. Stay in your lane and dominate your lane. You feel me? And don't let nobody take that from you or change nothing about it. And as long as you stand in your lane and you keeping the focus on you, you always going to succeed. You always going to be further than you was yesterday because you minding your damn business. When you constantly in other people's business and worrying about what they doing and how they living and who they having sex with and this, that, and the third, you ain't never going to be successful. You know what I'm saying? You can't get blessed worrying about the next. <laughs> yo, I'm really a poet, y'all. But anyway, I'm just constantly talking and talking. But really and truly, I really do like the vlog. And I don't get the vlog as much as I really want to. And that's something that I want to bring more to my channel. Um, I'm actually looking into investing into... Um, a vlogging camera this camera that I'm using now is actually a Samsung and it is a, a high-definition camera but it's not the camera that I want it's not necessarily a vlogging camera it's a video camera so I'm like holding it and it's not like small and convenient but you know progress not perfection things is changing if you guys go back and look at my first video I'm like oh my god like the lighting was terrible like the quality just wasn't 100 and it's just like i'm just constantly trying to make those tweaks and just change little by little one day at a time but i'm on this road and where i live at the cops definitely don't play and i definitely don't need another ticket or nothing on my driver record so i will pick up the camera when I um, see y'all, I'm always missing my exit that fast. You see how I had to do that fast and nefarious thing. But um, I'll pick up the camera when I get to Philly, and hopefully I can get some footage of something for you guys because it's actually starting to get dark out now. It's like, hopefully I can get some pictures of this hotel or whatever that the place is at, and then um. Like I said, no recording inside. So if I don't come back to you guys when I get out of the place, because it's probably going to be too dark to even film, I will make sure that I come to you once I get home and tell you all about it. And I'm actually supposed to meet him and do a book signing. And everything is supposed to be like a really super dope um, event today. So I'm excited. Wish me luck. And I will talk to you guys very shortly. <laughs>
down, I went to the ATM machine. just like amazing 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 when I first got in here I had to register so once I was on register they gave me two different bands um, one was for like VIP seating and the other band was for um, the book signing and I got this uh, packet here that has like a bunch of stuff in there from his from his brief university training Cause he has this um, university where you can sign up and just really learn how to be successful and then it has a lot of personal development involved and just amazing amazing access to videos and podcasts and i just took notes here took notes here like i took tons and tons of notes just everything that stuck out to me about the conference i got this average skill phenomenal will 21 day journal and i'm really excited to check out this journal it has a bunch of stuff where you can like fill in the blanks so it was like an actual training too with it with the journal and then i have his book average skill phenomenal will and I have not read this book yet, so I'm excited to read it. And he actually signed it for me. I did get a chance to meet E.T. I got a chance to meet C.J. and all of his crew. Got a chance to conversate and just really get my mind together and ready for 2017. And just, like, literally go hard. Go into full beast mode. Not making up any excuses. And just really giving 2017 all that I got. So this conference was definitely a blessing to me. He did like a lot of speaking, a lot of personal development, a lot of stories, just really poured out his heart. And then towards the end, he allowed everybody to come up to the front. And E.T. is actually a preacher as well. So everybody is not spiritual. So he said this may not be for everybody, but he did allow us to come up to the front and kneel down on our knees. And he actually prayed for all of us and prayed that 2017 will be a better year and that you know we will continue to grow and be successful and focus on ourselves and our character and how we treat people and how you know we need to pour out to other people as well and always be a blessing to someone else and give value rather than always constantly focusing on money but just really taking that time out to see how you can bless someone else like when he prayed for everybody literally everybody was crying just heard a lot of like <laughs> sniffling and he was just saying like you know god they're tired they're tired like you know some people they might have failed a test and like give them the will and the strength to keep going and some people may have lost people and they're struggling with getting back on track and just everything i think he just spoke to everybody in a room in a different way like but the event was amazing I don't know. I really got a chance to have like a personal one on one with him and his crew, so that was really special to me. Like I even shed some tears while I was there just because it's like a breakthrough. Like I know I'm going to the next level. I know God is taking me to the next level. And doors is opening up for me and I'm just really excited and I'm excited to be able to share this side of me with you guys as well. Like all of my angels, you guys support me and I want for me to grow and I want to be able to pour out to you guys and I want for you to grow and be successful as well. So I guess that's going to be the end of this vlog and I have some editing to do and some other motherly things. Tomorrow's Monday so it's back into the work week and the school week so I need to get the kids uniform situated and 
make sure my house is in tip-top shape so I can get to the gym tomorrow morning. So I guess I'll just catch up with you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for coming again and checking out your girl. If you're not an angel, make sure you subscribe. And if you are, thank you so much. Make sure you guys hit that notification button. Hit that bell so you'd never miss my videos. And I guess I'll just see you guys in my next video. Bye.